what's going on guys? It's Mark with Limo Marketer, back with another video for you all. Today I wanna to talk about your search term report. What is it? Why does it matter? Why should you care about it? <clears throat> so this, I, I wanna make this clear. If you're running any sort of paid traffic campaigns, uh, paid search campaigns, uh, Google Ads, uh, Microsoft Bing Ads, then this is gonna be for you. So your search term report is going to be in your Google and Microsoft Ads account. Um, in order to access it, I believe you click on your keywords on the left-hand side of the screen, and then you're gonna see it's gonna say search terms. So in your, your AdWords account or Bing account, you have your keywords. Those are what you enter into the account. So let's say you do, uh, let's say you're a limo company that wants to have airport jobs. So your keyword might be airport limo. I find this keyword works really well. So this is your keyword. Now your search term, your search term report, it shows you the searches that triggered this keyword. So what you can actually do is there's box, box, little boxes next to all your keywords. You can check one of them and click on search terms and it will show you all of the searches people made that triggered this keyword. So if you've watched my previous videos, you know this is a broad match modified keyword. And what it's going to do is it's gonna get triggered. And so when it's triggered, that means it shows an ad. So when this keyword gets triggered by someone's search, so let's say someone searches uh, limo from JFK to Stanford, right? I've seen that come up. Uh, ooh. <laughs> so let's just pretend they said JFK Airport to Stanford, right? Stanford, Connecticut. Um, because there is this and this, it's going to trigger this keyword and show an ad. And so someone searches limo from JFK Airport to Stanford. You know, the, the, the algorithm essentially matches it up with this keyword. It shows your ad. They click on your ad and then it will show once you check on this box next to the airport limo keyword, it's gonna show this as one of the searches somebody actually made. And so why does it matter? Well, the success of any paid traffic campaign comes down to three things. Number one, it's getting the right people to click on your ads. And this is probably the number one reason I, I see people say Google Ads doesn't work. Google Ads sucks. I don't get any return on my investment. And then they go and tell everyone about it and now everyone thinks Google Ads doesn't work. Well, one of the reasons it probably didn't work, if it didn't work for you, it's very likely that if you looked at your search term report, you're gonna see a lot of junk searches. So what's a junk search? So a junk search might be someone searching, uh, let's say Los Angeles uh, or LAX car service, right? They're searching LAX car service, but this company is in New York and they're doing rides from LaGuardia, JFK to like, let's say Connecticut. You don't wanna have LAX limo service on your search term report. That would be irrelevant, right? Now, if you were in Los Angeles, that might be fine, but you're in New York. And so that would be an irrelevant click. So what they would probably do is they click on your ad, they go to the page, they see your company that operates out of New York and they're like, oh shoot, you know, stupid Google. Why did it give me this result? So it's, it's very important that we're checking this, the search term report. I would check it every day because let's say you're spending 20, 30, $40 a day and half that money could be going to waste because if your Google Ads campaign is built incorrectly, your ads will show to the wrong people. So the whole idea behind this is showing our ads to the right people because success with Google Ads or Microsoft Ads comes down to three things, showing your ads to the right people, 
spending as little possible, as little as possible per click to get them to your website or landing page, and then sending them to a page that's going to get them to take action, to convert, to call you, to fill out a form, you know, or even book online maybe. So <clears throat> that's why this needs to be checked all of the time. So if you are running your own Google Ads campaign, I want you to go in right now, go into the keywords and look at your search term report and you're gonna see what you're spending your money on. And if you're a New York, uh, <clears throat> you know, limo company that let's say services the airports and you see a bunch of other airports showing up on your search term report, which is very common by the way, because it's, it's very easy to build a campaign incorrectly. Maybe you don't have the right keywords or the right negative keywords or your targeting's wrong. And so your ads are showing to people that are in other cities, right, that are looking for services, the service you offer, but in a different city. Now you might say, well, Mark, that's fine, you know, I offer worldwide transportation. Okay, fair enough. However, we have to remember, you want to first just show ads to people that are looking for what it is you offer where you offer it even if you do worldwide service <clears throat> so didn't want to make this a long video i just wanted to stress the importance of the search term report this is how important it can be i've, I've seen campaigns that are spending three to four thousand dollars a month that literally 60 to 70 percent of that ad budget was being wasted on irrelevant clicks. I saw one campaign, um, it was uh, the SeaTac Airport. Uh, the search term <laughs> was SeaTac Airport. And his keyword, the reason it was getting triggered, his keyword, he wasn't using broad match modified, phrase match, exact match, he was using a broad match. And his broad match keyword was SeaTac car service. However, since he was using a broad match keyword, right? There's no pluses, there's no brackets, there's no quotes. Google said, oh, SeaTac car service, that's kind of like someone just looking for SeaTac airport. Wrong, Google, it's not. You know that, I know that. Um, you know, this is essentially the Google, the Google stupid tax. So, Go in right now, check your search term report. On Bing Ads, it's easy to find as well. Um, and what you wanna be doing is going through that every day and adding negative keywords. A negative keyword is essentially telling Google, when this word is in the search query, don't show my ad. But you wanna be proactive. You don't wanna just be reactive with negative keywords. What do I mean by that? Well. For instance, if you start seeing other airports all over the US showing up on your search term report, do you really want to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars um, adding each one when it eventually comes up? No, you want to be proactive. You want to go and add every airport code, every airport name that you don't service to your negative keyword list. That's a little quick tip. That's what I do with all of my campaigns. I add locations, airport names, airport codes, you name it. Uh, because I wanna be proactive because I don't want my client you know, spending money on irrelevant clicks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got anything from this, it's check your search term report at least a few times a week because I guarantee you it's going to give you a much better return on investment on your marketing dollars. Now if you guys like this video, um, Go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, always appreciate a share. Um, and let me know, have you guys checked your search term report lately? Have you even ever heard of a search term report? Um, because I love hearing feedback on these videos. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next week.